Bama. So, uh, Talk a little bit about Florida. Uh, Coach Sand is uh, he's my main recruiter. You know he's been he's been doing it, doing his thing, doing his thing recruiting me. I ain't gonna lie, he's been on me hard. He offered my teammate Chris Brown. That's intriguing, you know what I'm saying? So, so what it, what is it about the program that really stands out? Defense. 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 <laughs> they they do a lot of blitzing. They do a lot of disguising. A lot of different schemes, and I like that. That's, I like that. Well, Alabama. I know Nick Saban came. You know, what was that uh, in the home visit like? It wasn't at home. It was, he stopped by the school. Just okay. wanted to take a picture with him. But um, you know, to have Nick Saban come to your school, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's, just, that's just wild. So that was like, I was like, when he, when that happened, I was like, dang, man, like, I can do this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, Bo Davis has been recruiting you pretty hard, too. What's your relationship like with Bo? Man, Coach Davis is one of the coolest coaches I've been talking to. You know, we talk frequently. We talk probably like two or three times a week. And you know what I'm saying? He reaches out a lot. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's real. He real. He keeps straight up with you. I like that. You know, I have to ask you about Texas. How are they kind of uh, playing into your recruitment right now? I talked to Coach BJ and I talked to Coach Barnes earlier today. They, you know, they told me to come out here and do my thing, do what I do best, be confident in, in my in my ability and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So give me a little pep talk. It was pretty cool to hear from them right before the game. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. They also uh, visited. Did they visit you in home? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Coach, Coach BJ and Coach Vaughn came, you know, they ate my mom food up. <laughs> man, but, you know, so I feel really comfortable around those two, man. They, they're they really cool. What? Yeah. That, well, you stole my question. Texas chili. <laughs> <laughs> right, cool, man. Uh, so have you uh, thought about planning your official to Texas? or? I haven't put any thought into it yet, but okay. just stay patient with me. So right now you've got Alabama set up, you've got Florida set up. What? You took Michigan, uh, so your last two, uh, what schools might get those? Well, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm all over the place right now, man. This recruiting <laughs> process is stressing me out, so I'm just trying to take my time with it, you know what so I'm I'm going to use every day, every day that I have left. Do you know the two dates on those two visits? Uh, this 20, the 22nd is Bama, the 14th is Florida. Okay. Hmm. Your national signing day decision? Yes, sir. All right. Is uh, LSU playing any role in the recruiting? Definitely, definitely. Coach Peavy, though, uh, he came to my house. He came. We had a home visit, and you know what I'm saying? He, he really chopped it up with my mom. My mom likes him. And, uh, he's a cool guy. I'm taking an unofficial up there. Uh, you know, when yet? Uh, Towards the end of January. Okay. Probably that last weekend. Uh, Randy, uh, Randy Shannon came to see you as well. What was that been like? Uh, it was cool, man. Coach Shannon, like I said before, Coach Shannon's been doing his thing recruiting me. He makes sure he's on me. You know what I'm saying? We talk frequently. And, you know, we have a lot of comments. So our conversations are lasting. You know what I'm saying? What's uh, what's kind of his message to you? Uh, you know, he's coached a lot of good linebackers in the past. What's kind of his message to you? Eli Stone. I mean, you know, he puts guys in the league. And he does, you know, they're going to have fun playing under him and stuff like that. Right. Um, as far as, um, you know, going to Florida, do you, what do you want to kind of see for Florida be your first trip out there? Um... Really, I just want to see the environment. You know, I never, I've never been to Gainesville, so it's going to be pretty exciting. If you, see, uh, you talked uh, earlier in the process about playing with uh, Jeff McCulloch. Have y'all talked about it at all lately? We haven't talked about it, but we are soon. <laughs> we are soon. I'm pretty sure. What do you think about uh, all that stuff with Les Miles and the, you know, the potentially trying to fire him, but he ends up keeping the job? What do you think about all that? How did that affect you? Um, really, that was. I, I mean, did. It, had three bad games, man. You know what I mean, that man deserves his job. He's doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they just need a quarterback to, you know, patrol their offense. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be all right. LSU going to be all right. Ford are telling you they need linebackers, you know, coming in. Antonio Morrison graduated, Jared Davis. How big of an impact is that for you to potentially come in and play early? Oh, um, really? I, really? I mean, it's a, it's a big impact, but, you know, they're always going to have those guys. But I feel like I can come in and play anyway. You know, just with my intelligence and my ability. What has your interest in Florida enough to, to, that they're going to get one of those visits? Really, when they really start coming hard, they really start coming hard in November. And, you know, they really just caught my attention. You know, it's Florida. The defense is always going to be right. Coach Sanders has always coached great players. You know what I'm saying? So, and then they offer one of my teammates. I, didn't, I mentioned that before. Now he's coming with you on the 15th, right? Yes, sir. So it, it was Coach Shannon that was coming after you hard? Was yeah. Was it him in particular? Mm-hmm. And what, what do they tell you they like about you, about fitting into the defense? Uh, really just my athleticism for my size. You know, I'm a guy, big guy, 6'2", 240, you know what I'm saying? So for me to be able to move like I move is, is different. You know, it's a rarity right now. Breaking down your Michigan trip, you know, what was the highlights of being up in Ann Arbor? 
the stadium, man. The stadium was.